Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. This is the 12th chapter of Volkswagen modeling in Maya. So continuing from the last chapter, we will now consider on the front uh, glass of the car. So I'm just uh, uh, selecting those uh, the joint part which is connecting the bonnet with the glass and I will just select those faces and just detach them and I'll just like to attach with this glass part so that I can make it uh, uh, I mean merge with the main glass part then I have to just uh, adjust the base just uh, move to the top view and adjust with the reference so now I'll just uh, give it some uh, extra cuts uh, before uh, to, to give it uh, the border the rubber which is actually I mean a move inside move, I mean support the glass so I'm just giving these extra cuts Oops, uh, so just adjust those vertex and select these extra edges and I just have to remove those oops here I think you cannot uh, delete this edge because it's a terminal one so I have to delete the face and use the merge vertex tool to merge it up and the same the same thing will be happening over here also so I'll just merge them out fine now it's a uh, it's continue one so just this corner vertex over here okay now just uh, select the outer edge and just extrude them to give it a thickness fantastic now just uh, give it some extra loop and just make it a make the border part much more appropriate regarding the volume is concerned and again I will do the same thing what I have done with the, with the base glass for, for continuing the loop still adding those uh, middle one okay that's it so that's how uh, I've just uh, created that part just to delay the history okay now uh, I'll just move on to the uh, other parts and I'll just concentrate on uh, creating that uh, that uh, or adjusting that uh, joint part for the front fender with uh, uh, the body. This is over here. Here you can see it's uh, the vertex are in, it's a bit uh, uneven and uh, a little bit of half hazard way. So I'll just uh, select those vortex and just uh, get into a better shape so just uh, give it a extra just support cut and oops just try select that selection I'll just uh, select the inner edge and extrude so, oops, yes, extrude. So I'll just uh, merge those vertex. And select this inner edge. 
which I have uh, left for the doors and others. Just uh, extrude. Fine. Just more the vertex. So let me see first. Yes. So more the vertex. Fine. Just you have to adjust or uh, readjust uh, to make it uh, make the flow going. So just uh, okay. Now uh, we can move uh, of the the front glass part. So I just uh, uh, mirror the bonnet what I have created and it's merge the the middle vertices and I'll just give it a give it the final final touch of it so a bit final touch of it so select the outer edge and just extrude uh, inside to give it the uh, give the bonnet uh, thickness so give it a supportive cut So like those and it just push backwards so it will get the the socket kind of a look so that your model look that it's actually come inside from the from the bonnet so that's the same way oops cool just select those and isolate the selection so that I cannot I can work exclusively on this part fine cool so select those uh, base edges extrude them inside so again to give the uh, that part of thickness so that it won't look that it's just come out from nowhere. In extrude. And now if I go to the uh, uh, switch on the other parts, now you can see that the bonnet is looking that it it's actually it's not actually coming it's it's not an exactly isolated part because it's already there. Just have to adjust these uh, corners. Oops, it's just been flipped out. Select, just okay. Now just move the slide those edges so that it won't affect the the shape of the model. Just like this, slide edge tool. Just to move out, move out a bit. Okay, so that's it for this chapter. So we'll move on to the next chapter. So thank you very much.